I have no idea what I'm going to name this video. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this video together. Vintage Girl shares, you know, nuggets of wisdom. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Oops, I forgot my lipstick. Wait a second. While there are some doubts as to whether the photographs George's photo. Sorry, listening to a uh, brutal murder documentary on BuzzFeed Unsolved because that's what I do with my time. <laughs> okay, so exciting news. First off, I got a tripod. That's what my camera's sitting on right now. It's really, really cool. So now I can film anywhere. Anywhere! Anywhere! Anywhere. I think, understandably, everyone's feeling quite overwhelmed at the moment. The uncertainty over the whole COVID-19 situation is continuing to be absolutely crazy and I think all of us seem to have had really crazy years, even excluding a global health pandemic. That means that not everyone is doing or feeling their best right now. Oh my gosh! I think it's really, really important to remember that productivity is not the defining factor as to how well you're doing. We're all going through so much right now and if you're struggling to even get up and wash your hair and <laughs> you know, choose clothes to wear and all of that kind of thing, but you're still doing it, then you're doing incredibly well. Work never stops. Believe me, I know. <laughs> but I promise that you are not less than or less worthy just because you're struggling. It is completely okay to feel like you are drowning in whatever personal situation that you found yourself and I just want to take this moment to say that you will not always feel like this. I promise. I know it doesn't feel like it right now but things will ease off and this will just find its little place in your life and it doesn't reflect badly on you and you are going to be okay. This will pass. The feeling of crushing anxiety over the state of the world will ease. The feeling of wondering when we're ever going to get to go outside again will dissipate. In like two years, we will all look back at this time and laugh and be like, wow, that was insane. <laughs> but right now, all you have to do is get through it. Adjust. Also, hold people accountable if you don't feel safe. If your boss is not putting proper provisions in place for you to feel safe at your workplace, you need to try and do something about it. Talk to them, send emails, copy people in so that they can't get magically disappeared, and you will find that there are always people willing to help you fight your corner. Sometimes the world feels completely impossible and you don't feel like you can do anything, whether that's because of a physical or mental health condition or just how you're feeling or because you're in a living situation that isn't ideal. I know all of our living situations have definitely changed this year. 
but when you do feel like you can do stuff, it's really good to do things that help you to feel your best, even if some of them aren't the most entertaining. We can't stop our feet at all, they feel certain ending. You are in the air, floating here and there. Not a single tear comes to stealing. Talk about your other life while they aren't in it. You feel all the joys of life in one single minute for your family. For example, I cannot stand having a plate and a bowl full of washing up in the sink. So I like to do housework because it makes me feel better. I put on my cute little Etsy apron and I just get to work and I put on some songs and that helps me to feel good. I promise you, you are not doing badly for not being able to be a super person right now. I've been sort of struggling with YouTube content sometimes these days. I have a few really exciting ideas but then they take a little bit longer to get done. So the interim videos are kind of quite difficult for me to think of. I knew today I wanted to make a video but I had no idea what on earth I wanted to make it about. Then I thought that I could just set up my camera and record and see what happens and it turns out that today is just all about doing small things that help you to feel better and some of my tips for feeling your best right now as much as you can. Also, I got reusable plastic sandwich bag so I don't have to go through so much cling film every day. I know that this year is so weird. I know I'm really struggling with knowing that uh, there's not really going to be much for Halloween this year. I don't usually get into Halloween, but for some reason this year I was really excited, I was really ready, and now obviously not much is going to happen. But um, instead, try arranging a virtual Halloween party. This is an idea that someone I know had and it, I thought it was so amazing. Just seeing the people that you love, as painful as it can be to not be with them, helps you to feel more connected. If you are struggling to get dressed in the mornings, then just pick a colour that makes you feel happy and make sure that you wear that colour that day if picking a full, you know, outfit is proving to be a bit too strenuous. I know that when I'm having a really off day, then I can sit in front of my wardrobe for ages and just cry because I'm so overwhelmed. This is also why I personally love dresses because you just have to pick one and then it's basically a full outfit. It's important to remember that everyone has different coping strategies that help them to feel their best. My personal, you know, way that I feel my best is by kind of continuing on as if everything is normal. I get dressed in my full outfits every day, I put on makeup every day, and I, you know, do all of that to make me feel like everything is kind of moving forward, even if some days I don't actually leave the house. But I know some people who feel their best when they just sit in pyjamas or comfy clothes, and that is a totally valid response as well. You might want to make a very clear, instructive, to-do list with every single small task mapped out or you might just to want to wing things and only have a general idea of what you want done. A really good tip is if you're making to-do lists don't put times on them because who runs to a schedule right now and also don't um, put yourself under too much pressure so 
set goals slightly lower than you know you can meet and then you will feel way better at the end of the day saying yes I did that rather than oh no I didn't achieve as much as I feel I should have. Work-life balance is so important and I feel like working from home is kind of eroding that for so many people. I see so many people like working themselves to the bone right now because work isn't really separate from our lives anymore. For people who have always typically gone into an office and had that as their work, going to your work suddenly being in your house can be a really difficult adjustment. Make sure that you set a start and a finish time, whether that is just X number of hours worked, and please do not work like 12 hours a day, make it like reasonable, um, or whether that's, you know, actual start, like start at nine, finish at five or six kind of thing. Um, whatever way you choose to do it, give yourself time to relax and decompress in the evening. Your brain can actually only focus on things for about 45 minutes to an hour at a time before it starts to shut off. And that is just the neurotypical brain. Other people have different, you know, time um, lapses before they completely lose focus. Give yourself regular small breaks where you don't have to do anything, you don't have to be productive, and you'll find that you are actually more productive in the end. This is how I did things when I was studying at university and I found that it was the most helpful. Set timers that are spaced maybe 45 minutes to an hour apart and then turn off your phone and put it face down on a surface that you can't get to it, so you can't see when messages and notifications are coming through. My phone has ruined many a good study session. If you work in a sector that is particularly hard hit right now, for example, theatre, hi, um, but also hospitality, a lot of self-employed businesses, then don't feel bad for not being able to magically make things work. In my area, even amateur dramatics just aren't really happening right now because there's no way that we can do any performances. So don't feel like you need to come out of this having added 40 things onto your CV. If you can do things like online courses or, you know, keep up your skill just to make you happy and to have a few little projects, then that is awesome. But there are some days when trying to sing just ends in me curled up in a ball in tears on the floor and forcing yourself through that isn't going to be helpful in the long run because you're going to end up disliking the thing that you really love. Take it easy, play it by ear day to day, and make sure that you are giving yourself rest when you need it. And that might be, spoiler, more often recently. We are in a constant fight or flight mode at the moment. Your brain is going, oh my god, oh my god, danger, something is very wrong. Whether you know people personally who have been affected by the virus, whether you have been personally affected by the virus, whether you have other health or um, work or social issues that are really making it incredibly stressful for you right now and everything just feels like it's crashing down. A lot of people are going to come out of this with anxiety. <laughs> A lot of people are discovering anxiety they didn't know they had. And that is totally okay. It is not a moral failing to be unable to be completely positive all the time. As much of an optimist as I like to be, it is impossible to be completely 100% optimistic all the time. Because that's not how humans work. One of the important things right now is that Anything worth doing is kind of worth half doing. For example, if your entire house needs hoovering, but you are really, 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 you can't, then maybe instead you can wipe down some of the countertops and the flat surfaces. 
sure you haven't hoovered, but you've still added to the cleanliness of the house, and that small task will make you feel better. If you can't work up the energy to wash your hair, but it feels really gross, stick in some dry shampoo! It's totally fine. Yeah, it's not as great as a full shower, but you will feel better for it. And running yourself over with a damp washcloth, if you really, really can't do any of the like cleaning stuff right now, will make you feel a bit more like a human. <laughs> not feeling up to clothes but don't want to sit around in those same pyjamas? Different pyjamas! Or similar comfy clothes that feel like pyjamas. You don't have to work up the enthusiasm for a full, you know, get up, but just changing into something slightly different will make you feel a bit better. I remember in March when we all thought that this was something that was going to be over and done with by the summer. And now it's the middle of October, and it doesn't look like that's the case. Life is crazy right now, and it is no fault of yours if you are feeling the pressure. Make sure that you are as kind to people as you possibly can be because everyone is going through hell right now. But also, don't let people take advantage of you if you feel like you are being treated unfairly. Make sure to talk out your grievances with people and explain how you're feeling because I know I can occasionally be guilty of expecting that people will just know what's going on when, in fact, I haven't told them anything and I'm an incredibly smiley and happy person who refuses to let people know when she is struggling. But even just saying, I'm not up to this right now, can we talk later, is better than letting resentment build up until you explode. Step outside, feel the sun or the rain on your face and feel an atmosphere that's different to the one inside your house. <laughs> Message people you haven't caught up with in a while and just ask how they're doing. Even if you don't get a reply, you've reached out and that feels good. Nourish your body with things that make it feel good. Dance around your kitchen for no other reason than you bloody well can because clubs aren't open right now and dancing makes your body feel good. Sing even if you aren't good at it, draw even if you aren't good at it, write even if you aren't good at it. You don't have to be good at things to enjoy them. And your hobby doesn't have to be something that you are a master at to bring you value and love and worth. You don't have to be able to make a job at doing a thing to do a thing. I am a terrible artist. I'm not someone who can really draw, but doodling makes me happy. Conversely, I am a very good singer and singing makes me very happy, but singing with no pressure makes me even happier. Do the thing you love, not because you feel pressure or expectation to, but just because you deserve it. Heck, start a YouTube channel. I know it's done wonders for my confidence and it's taught me loads of things that I wouldn't know otherwise. You know, YouTube is great for learning skills like promotion, marketing, branding, um, you know, photo and video editing, audio mixing, um, lighting corrections. I have a tripod now, I never thought I'd have a tripod, and it's really exciting, so if you feel like you have something you want to say, start a YouTube channel, why not? This video isn't particularly vintage. It isn't particularly focused. It isn't really particularly my channel at all, but in my opinion, it is incredibly necessary. We all need to remember to be kind to ourselves and others right now in a time of incredible stress and uncertainty and share your tips for how you're getting through the craziness, even on the hard days, in the comments down below. And I hope that we can start a little like tips thing going. I think that would be really cool. I hope you enjoyed whatever this was and that it helped to make you feel a little bit better and that it took off a little bit of the pressure. I know tiny Rianne right there never thought that she would be 
where she is today and I think remembering how your child self would probably view yourself now really puts things in perspective. You are not a failure because humans can't be failures. We have no great divine purpose, in my opinion. I find incredible comfort from the fact that the universe is more vast than our brains can even comprehend and that, you know, existence is kind of meaningless and we're all just making stuff up as we go along because that means I don't have to play by anyone's rules. And so I don't. Well, I say that. I try not to. <laughs> So I hope that you liked this and let me know what your thoughts were down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or you want to see some of my more like actually thought out and planned videos please do check out any of the other things on my channel. I love you all so very much, I hope that you are getting through things as best as you can. Have courage and be kind and I will see you all in my next video. Let's have an old-fashioned call. We will walk any place you choose to.